I would have never thought that that would be even possible to happen. Paige was in the eighth grade traveling with her parents on spring break. Her adventurous trip to Guatemala took a turn for the worse on one of her day trips through the woods and caves. It was a fun trip and I got a bunch of mosquito bites and I had one on my head and it was kind of weird and I came back after the trip and it still itched and then it got all infected and they kept telling me there was like an infected hair follicle and they kept giving me all this medicine but nothing worked. What doctors called an infected hair follicle ended up being much worse and rather a larva for a developing bot fly. They sent me to like the CDC, like Center of Disease Control in Atlanta, and they wouldn't do anything because I was like I was only uh, like 14 at the time. It would hurt for a few weeks, and I kept telling my parents that there was something like in there, there was something moving, and they just thought I was crazy. Finally, this pediatric surgeon in Atlanta finally said that he would take a look, and so I had surgery, and they looked in like inside my head, just below my scalp, and there was a small larva about. Uh, three quarters of an inch long and about a half an inch thick and uh, it had been living in my head. <laughs> it must be scary for a young 14 year old to be rejected care from multiple doctor's offices due to the uncertainty of the professionals working there. It was just really painful. It kind of felt like somebody was just like taking a scalpel to my head, honestly. Um, it's called a South American bot fly, and it lays its eggs on mosquitoes, and when the mosquito bites you, it like lays the eggs in your uh, skin, and mine just happened to be on my head. You can get it anywhere on your body, and uh, the larva will grow like in your skin, and then once it's like ready to hatch, it will crawl out, and, and then it's the full like bot fly. So it's really rare for people in the United States to have it, so it's, I guess it's kind of a cool story, but I wouldn't wish it upon anybody else. <laughs> Well, normally when um, I travel, I make sure that I uh, spray my bug spray evenly all over my body so I don't get bit by any bugs. Obviously, many of my doctors never thought it would be possible to happen to her. It wouldn't have taken them six to eight weeks to figure mm -hmm. out what it was. So you're quite the uh, world traveler. Have you ever come across a situation where you've been nervous that something's happened again? Uh, yeah, I've gotten some bug bites, and they start to get kind of big, or they, you know, they hurt, might hurt a little bit, and it makes me really, you know, cautious. And I just recently went on a trip to Guatemala with a bunch of friends, and I told them that story, and they were all freaked out the entire time. Every time they got a bug bite, they thought it was a bot fly in them. So <laughs> <laughs> it kind of freaks people out. But um, it, <laughs> I just wear a lot of bug spray now, and uh, sometimes if we're in a place that isn't like a hotel, I make sure that we have nets and stuff like that because at night you're really susceptible to getting a uh, bitten. So is that, what, what advice would you give to people going to foreign countries like that? Just to use more bug spray or to look out for a certain bug <laughs> that you think would... Um, basically, I mean, you can't really like see all the bugs that are out there, but definitely wear bug spray at all times. Um, if you can wear uh, long pants, a long shirt, um, you know, closed-toed shoes, even a hat, Anything, honestly, would, um, you know, be better because the more that your body is covered, uh, the more protected you are, and especially at night, too, because you're laying there and you're not moving around, so it's easier for you to be bitten. Um, most places that aren't a hotel, they do provide you nets, so it does definitely keep you safe. Um, honestly, anywhere in the world where you're in the jungle, um, especially in Africa where there are a lot of diseases, but in um, you know Central and South America where it's a lot of rainforest and a lot of there's not much pest control, you're very susceptible to any kind of bugs that are there, considering that they're not controlled. Although it is a rarity for Americans to experience something like this, it is important to always wear bug spray in these circumstances. Take it from Paige.